Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to draw an animal using a step-by-step -step guide. First, you need to draw a circle. On top of the big circle, can you draw a smaller circle at the top? You will then need an eraser to rub out that extra bit of line. Next, can you draw two semicircles off the side of the head? I wonder if you can guess what we are drawing. You are going to need a rubber again now to rub out the extra lines. After this, can you draw two triangle shapes towards the bottom of the smaller circle on the two sides? I'm sure you have guessed what we're drawing by now. Yes, we're drawing an elephant. Can you draw a long trunk out of the bottom of the small circle? You now need to rub out the extra line on the trunk. To make it look more realistic, can you add some small thin lines onto the trunk just like I have? Your elephant needs some eyes, so can you draw some black circles for the eyes? Don't forget the feet. Can you draw two ovals at the bottom of the elephant's body? You now need to rub out the extra lines on the feet. Finally, you need to colour your elephant in to make it look more realistic. I hope that you enjoyed joining in with drawing the elephant. Now we're going to have a go at drawing a dog. First of all, you need to draw a oval at the top of your page. At the top of the oval, you're going to draw a semicircle shape to form the top of the dog's head. Don't forget the dog's ears. From the top of the semicircle, you need to go down below the oval and then back up to form the big floppy ears. Your dog needs a body. So can you draw the two feet at the bottom, two circles, and then you need to draw the body so that you don't have lines going through the feet. Your dog needs back legs. So at the bottom of the picture, can you see I have drawn on two more lines to form the back legs by the feet? Next, can you draw your dog's face? Your dog needs two eyes, two eyebrows, a small oval for the nose, with a straight line coming down into a smiling face. As an extra bit of detail, can you see what I've added on? Yes, I have added a little tongue sit, um, sticking out of the dog's mouth. Now, can you draw a line from underneath the dog's tongue all the way down to his feet on both sides to form his front legs? It's time to colour your dog in. You can choose whatever colours you like but I have chosen light brown for the dog's bottom part of his face. I have chosen the same light brown for the dog's front legs. For the doggy's ears and the back legs, I have chosen a slightly darker brown. And finally, for the doggy's tummy and the top of his head, I've chosen an even darker brown as well. As a final added bit of detail, I have painted the dog's tongue red. Hi boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed having a go at drawing with Miss Moorhead. We hope that you enjoy the pictures you have drawn and find somewhere special to put them up. Perhaps, as a final thing, you would also like to make your pictures talk by using the apps Chatterpix or Chatterbox. I hope you enjoy your activity.